background. Here we go. Welcome to the New Grants Podcast. Okay, go. Welcome to the New Grants Podcast. Um, I hope you like our new theme song. It's canon. We're using it from now on. <laughs> we got today Psycho Goldfish is here, Zinzinix is here, and I'm Will, and we're here for you guys. How are y'all doing? Uh, good, oh. I guess. <laughs> I was just had a big mouthful of coffee when you asked that. But I was, okay, I was well, good. that's all the time we have. Thank you so much to you Great guys. Show, Thank everybody. you, Water Flame. Yeah, Water Flame. Awesome. Awesome. Gabber Fly. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Psycho Goldfish uh, letting us use his theme song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we have a lot of freaking stuff to get to today, and it's really exciting. We just got off of Madness Day, so we're going to talk to some Madness people. Uh, we have a segment that we did with Seven Seas we're going to play for you. And we want to talk a bit about Among Us, too, because we're all just playing it in the server right now. Well, all of them, not me. So we're going to talk about all that. But I want to say first, if you hear anything from my side... There has literally been a CrossFit event happening across the street. <laughs> uh, why aren't you there right wow. now? You should be well, shredded, you see my arm. You, Why aren't you there you, right now? You're you the buff need one. it more than anybody. I know. Well, that's why I would be the worst at the contest. But the music is so loud and they're pumping it. They, you know, they do the tires. They always throw the tires around. I don't know why CrossFit's <laughs> obsessed with tires. <laughs> so if you hear any extra noise, just know that it's tires being tossed into my backyard. Beautiful. Be- that's just a, that's a sight you always want to see. Just some burly man just throwing tires in your backyard. Like, yeah, all right. Like, oh, you know fine. This is my normal every day. So I, I guess what's the most exciting about Among Us, though, is that we actually scored something kind of important. I don't know if you guys want to like uh, announce yeah. that. We'll, we'll, talk about, that we'll okay. talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. But it is a big announcement, fucking huge announcement. So you have to listen to this entire show. <laughs> oh, that's really smart that you did that. I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to say it. But now everybody has to listen to the end. Thank that's you right. The that's why I'm I'm the marketing genius here. I was going to say, are you a programmer or a marketer, bro? Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> amazing. All right, so we got Man to Stay. We got Seven Seas Writing Contest. And then we also have a brilliant little Among Us get together because we've been playing so many games. I've literally spent like four days in a row and I was supposed to do all these other things. I want to draw. I want to I wanna talk about art. But then I'll end up in until midnight for like four hours playing with a bunch of assholes that, that always that can't tell if I'm lying or not and they still kill me off anyway they're like Psycho Goldfish is like oh it's in you gotta tell and then he's like he's like oh he's definitely lying go vote him off and then I'm innocent as hell and I'm like just pissed for the rest of the time but it's it's fun it's it's it's, it's fun getting betrayed and also betraying others I guess <laughs> it's a very devious game God. I wouldn't know I'm too wholesome we'll talk about it more we'll talk about it more <laughs> Awful, awful. We are talking about Madness Day first and foremost because it just happened. The turnout seemed to be pretty nice. A lot of cool stuff on the front page. And we did get some people from the community. I'm excited to bring you guys on because I know you're waiting very patiently. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead, unmute yourselves up. And if you have a mic, you can start it and we can we can get to know y'all. All right. Hello, hello. Hey. Hello. Who is that? Who is that talking right now? This What's is me. That? I'm Zapchon. I'm a madness animator and that's about it. <laughs> I animate madness. Who else do we got here? So I'm Shats. I'm a madness animator. Uh, same with Zap. And I'm a little lesser known in the community. Like only a few. And then, That's about to change. And that's about to change. <laughs> and then who else do we got with us today? We got three. Three madness uh, community experts, I would say. <laughs> Jesus. Hi, I'm Simbarine. Uh I'm a madness artist. But some of you guys may have remembered me from the block party podcast you guys did, as well as being on Grounds Patrol about a year ago or something. So nobody, nobody like, remembers Grounds Patrol. Grounds Patrol, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what's Grounds Patrol? But hi, I'm Simbarine. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I saw that Kelzad and Simbarine were on Grounds Patrol, and it made me very sad. I'm like, oh, great. We just got to keep talking to the same people. That's why we got Shads and Zapchon here, two people who I'm, I'm positive haven't been on a new Grounds podcast in the past. So at least we can all hang out and get some new uh, new insight on it. Simbarine just is kind of like the OG like in the room, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. She's the street cred. All right, well, let's go over Man to Stay 2020 because there's a lot of winners, a lot of uh, a lot of love from Crinkles. Uh, the way he wrote his post reminds me like a lot of like my type of energy. I like to put in reviews. He was like he was just so blown away. He's like, oh my god, like yeah, I gotta I gotta write out this little uh, paragraph of of everything that uh, that really inspired me or blew me away from Man to Stay. So obviously there were the categories for animation, art, and music. Have you guys gotten to see like any of the other animations that that have been thrown around during Man to Stay? And then also like any of the art, any the music did you guys fully enjoy like your guys's madness day like how was it for you guys well this year's madness day was actually really good like especially in a while like i checked the amount of uploads this year and it's the most there's been since 2012 
like it's an actual figure. Wow. Holy and shit! Just, <laughs> I know it's like it's still crazy because there's been big madness days in that time. But uh, I watched a lot of the content. I want to say every movie, but I'm probably missing at least one. But uh, there was a whole lot of talent this year. Like a, a lot of it was just really fun to watch. I mean, Shane, uh, how'd your madness day go? My madness day was really good. It's just that um, like towards like the last day, it got kind of stressful mainly because of the collab I was hosting at the time. Like which, had, like, collab, which collab was that? Oh, uh, that was Project Felony. It's, like that actually got seventh place. It placed. It got the lowest though. Uh, um, I, n- I noticed with animations, like I feel like Crinkle's like criteria for the animations is actually like the storyline. Like he focused really hard mm-hmm. on like like what kind of what kind of story you came out with because the uh, most of the top rated animations they all just had a really solid like theme to it and they used the yeah. madness to like tell this wonderful story i think that's what he was really getting into whereas with like project felony that was i loved it because it was like haphazard you had all this like the the i was talking with jolly bag about it he was like it's like yeah it's like a uh, new age comedy or like or like current comedy like the the type of funny like little memes that were everywhere in the way uh everything was kind of sporadic but at the same time like really a- interesting to watch like unfold that's why i was surprised it got ranked lower but i noticed that maybe the the story wasn't as strong as like crinkles would expect you know what i mean from yeah a winner? it's just the um the reason we made it was mainly because we wanted to like not focus on the whole story part of it and just wanted to have fun with it and that's the thing we did uh, most of the animators actually had fun animating it, and that's kind of important in it oh absolutely because if it isn't fun to animate then no projects will get done nothing will get done right yeah i know and then there's all these long uh madness projects simbering you're not even a part i don't even think you do animations isn't it just art coming from you I'm mostly an artist and oh boy, we had a lot of really good entries in the art portal. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like there was so many good arts that I'm actually surprised didn't win or didn't even place. Describe those art pieces. Describe those art pieces because a lot of the madness art that comes out, there's, uh, I see like a really poster quality to many of them. Like which ones are you surprised they didn't win? Like what kind of quality um, did they have? Heads was like very nicely rendered and I'm surprised they didn't even place. I feel like that was really like an underdog in in this case. But a lot of stuff, as per usual with Madness stuff, tends to be red and black, which I'm assuming is the reason why I even placed because it wasn't like black and red. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I noticed uh, a lot of red and blacks, but in near like the end of the art submissions, if you look at the uh, the top ranking art submissions, like near the ones that place at the end, most of them like went crazy with their color palette. Like there's mm-hmm. all these different like colors. Like there's even someone who took um, there's this theme of like uh, this person who sells their clothing. It's like really bright rainbowy colors, and they took that and they placed it on the madness character. So everyone's wearing like rainbow colors, and it's in the clouds, and they got like they're wearing like cheetah print and shit, and it's just a wild sight seeing something so so goofy for normally something that's about like shooting people in the head so i think crinkles respected that it wasn't like black and red all the time but very and uh with the with the first two two winners of the of the art portion of this you had two hundred dollars that went to we all live in a mad world and that was like this really long like poster quality madness drawing it had a lot of red and black like you were saying but when you start off at the top you get the um I don't know the characters that well. I don't know if you guys are going to hate me for not like really researching the characters, but, oh, that's <laughs> but it's like the the evil version of Jesus or whatever. It's like the black, the nega Jesus or whatever you want to call him. Like it's uh, with the red halo. <laughs> Yeah. And go, Jesus. Uh, I don't, either way, either way, you start off with that and then you start scrolling down and you see, you say De- Deimos and everyone else, else says their uh, main characters. And it's just like this really quality landscape where you, when you scroll down it, it could be like a long poster just sitting on your wall. And it, it, by that, at the end of it, you got tricky. So you have all these different characters and, and this really cool theme of like, as you scroll down further into it, it all kind of meshes together in this really like complete concept. And then for the second one, $125, uh, God Complex went to Deimos Art. So first place went to Borkman. Shout out to Borkman. Second place went God Complex for Deimos Art. And that one had literally just uh, the Jesus character with his sword. And the sword has like uh, 0010 and everything on it. Because uh, a lot of madness concept is like code breaking and like uh, like this just world just falling apart. But it's just him standing there, like really solid character art. Like there's nothing like conceptually, conceptually like different about it. But he stands there, badass art, badass perspective, and then also has the shadow version of himself standing behind him. So that was like a top notch poster quality. So I feel like posters actually actually won a lot, and they had red and black as well. So I get what, where you're coming from with that. Like most people think madness, I guess they think red and black. Yep. But right? we had so many good entries that I could just tell that it must have been very hard for him to like even decide anything. 
for winners and stuff. I know. And he, he was like, ah, he's like in the art. He was like, uh, I can't I can't do honorable mentions. There's way too much art that came out. And then if you search the tag, you can just get bombarded by it. So, uh, Simbrian, do you have you participated in Madness Day uh, art like every year? Is that like normal? I tried to. I did for this year and I actually did end up placing, which is why I was very surprised about me placing in others not because i feel like wow you guys deserved it way more than i did <laughs> i liked yours though yours was like this uh this weird weird uh collage of themes for madness but it was all it wasn't like very succinct it wasn't like 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 with the second place oh it's it's jesus and madness jesus and then uh his version behind him is very concise yours is like this really fun like party type like like madness i don't know i don't know how to describe it it's chaotic it's all over the place you got japanese lettering at the bottom of it it's it's fun and goofy and wacky and it's it's that's i think that kind of fun can also placate to the way madness is because because the world is never like solid it's always something you can play with like with project felony just this world that just goes nuts like wherever you want it to go and i, I think your art did really well to do that if i, if I do thank say you. so thank so, you no so proud. much so uh, in terms of art, have you seen like more art submissions this year? Like how with animation, there's more animation submissions this year in comparison? Yeah, and I hope that we get even more in the years to come because, wow, we, we're we really thriving, it seems. So Shads, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So so everything's like, everything's blowing up. It's really like, this is the year that everything was big, I guess, like a bigger than usual, which is crazy to think because a lot of people think Newgrounds is dying, et cetera. But Shads, when you, when you come up with the animation, like with uh, Project Felony, you had like 12 different songs that played during that, right? Yeah. 12 different songs. Like when you think Madness, Madness music, what do you think when you think Madness music? Um, Mainly like one specific song that plays throughout the whole thing that, that goes on each part. And okay, that like, okay. like meets the, match the tempo of each part. So basically you have like, yeah, I'd have a song and then it's like, like a change tempo for every part. Like for example, Paradigm Madness, um, the song was like 22 minutes and each um, person that animated got their own like part of the song basically. That fit their yeah. tempo of their part. Okay, okay. Example. So it's like really loose, freeform, but is would you say it's like like uh like heavy metal? Is it like is it kooky? Is it mm. somewhat like twisted? Well, like, Cause, you know. Mm. Well, thing with um like madness music, I'd say it's like more like a drum and bass type style because like it fits like the madness like um universe like more like fast paced, just kind of like shit happening. Now, Zapchan, would you agree with that? You do animations as well. You always gotta find music. You always gotta find like something to throw on top of like people murdering each other. I guess like <laughs> entertainment quality has to be <laughs> top yeah. notch when when people. <laughs> getting shot in the face so. the music i mean uh, to me madness music it's it's not really limited at all which is why i like it i mean the the common tropes that people tend to follow with it are either like drum and bass or break core or dubstep like just the usual like i don't know how to put it sort of gamer music gamer music, <laughs> gamer music. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to explain it i mean it makes it sound like i'm downplaying it there but it does really really fit the movies well like the right choice of music can make better alone yeah you either make or break a movie absolutely and um i don't know if you guys remember like your first time seeing madness i don't know if that's like a, a key quality to like what everybody feels when they first see this stuff like going on but the music like from the first one if i were to tell you like the first madness i don't know if that's actually the first madness but when he's chilling there with the the beatbox and he's he play, presses play on the music like you don't even you don't even have to like oh, yeah. um you don't even have to ask everyone knows that song right like the chicken dance right yeah yeah, everyone knows that, right? Like yeah, chicken dance. <laughs> you can associate chicken dance with madness, right? Or am I or am I stretching back way too far? <laughs> like, I get it. No, you're good. It's all the shit. Oh. <laughs> that works. That works. I remember when I think of madness music, I think of like hard style industrial like scraping sounds, like the old yeah, ones. I always remember from movie, when I was it was like pew 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 pew, pew it was just pounding <laughs> your skull. Yeah, <laughs> like dark, like something evil is like being constructed in the background, or like like this person going around killing people. Like it, it does give you that feeling of like everything's like fucking distorted or like yeah, yeah. It's gritty and dirty, gritty and dirty. That's what I has. Did. Has anyone here uh, been able to listen to any of the winners for the music? Set? section because i know they're fourth place at four places uh johnny guy who uh who used to be real faction um actually placed third and his his song dystopia is like really concise like with with bringing in that feeling of like you're in a fucked up world and it's or like like some type of future cyberpunk era where everything's dark and i i like that when that comes out from uh madness and i actually went over um the songs for for the winners in the first two actually hit that dubstep really well that kind of like you build tempo and then you get the bass drop and whatnot 
like that. I think Crinkles loves that because he, he the first two were like really strong, strong dubstep songs. So what do you guys think? Like, do you guys listen to madness music on your own? Like, or or is that just something that's like specific to to the cartoons? I have to. <laughs> I listen to it all the time because I'm a. I don't know how to put it. I just I like listening to it because I just remember the movies while I'm listening to it, and it helps me animate. It gives you sort of motivation to keep going. I'm in the same boat as that. Like, uh, I listen to them. I've listened to the OC like I great many times, like handful. I mean, one that really stuck out to me. I, I'm not like this is gonna sound bad, but I don't remember if it won or not, but. Uh, there was a fan made album called Somewhere in Nevada that came out this year, which was yes! really good. Oh my, finally! What? Like, that's genius! Like, uh, the theme of man is built into an album. <laughs> and the, uh, the CD cover for it is really cool, too. I, I enjoy the fact that they finally produced something like just, just an album based off of this feeling that, that man is gives everyone. And and uh, if anyone has a chance, you should listen to Somewhere in Nevada. It's <laughs> it's impressive. I, I love the fact that you can take a theme like this and, and make so much from it it's, it's really good now now for Manus Day how does the community get around Manus Day is it really excited like do people actually start like reaching out and like forcing each other to collaborate or like pushing each other's buttons like let's get something done let's do this we are uh, we've been working on this project for like eight months to a year like let's finally just buckle down I mean that kind of it kind of depends on how close they are to finishing their movie because based on that it can either be exciting suspense or absolute stress and a rush to get your movie finished <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the same boat with a uh, fellow and on the last day like most of the ending was like really rushed oh, and it's not so bad though you guys put out uh, i think a really fine product to be honest oh thanks and i i like project felony so much that i wish i'd joined it after i watched it <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> that's a good compliment i wish i was yeah, in that project I hey real it. quick somebody put some uh madness or like calliope music in the chat to say like this might count as madness music and i loaded it up i'm gonna see if i can play it real quick okay go for it i'd say it does it. Because uh, that? I've been using many projects. If I'm not wrong, though, that was used in one of the actual, like, official cartoons, so it definitely counts as Madness music. <laughs> <laughs> Does this count as? It was also used in many games with a tumble. All right, I can't. That's all I can do from that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Pound, 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 pound. Yeah, right. Um, so when it comes to madness, collaboration is key. You have like all this. You can have up to like fuck with Newgrounds. You can add Psychofish. How many uh, collaborators can you have accredited in Newgrounds? Isn't it like a hundred at this point or something? I honestly don't remember. It's an insanely high amount though. Like there's been some collabs where there's like three pages of scrolling before you get to the freaking end. That's fantastic. So with madness, you can literally collaborate with an infinite amount of people and put together like. A, concise product like um the second place winner for the animations was just like a straightforward story of like of like uh, a certain certain theme that was going on in uh in the madness animations and they made it like they tried to make it like canon or whatever but whenever it was just your regular old like everyone's gray nothing's like nothing's like really kooky about it it was just a solid animation but it had all these like different collaborators on it and that was madness redeemer 2 revenger it was a collab with friends from killer that's i guess a group called killer like uh, by and it was organized by KRYY actually Jolly Bags in that too so uh, do you guys got like a bunch of little communities that like have their own names and stuff like that's 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 the killer community you know what I mean like so they produce yeah. that yeah so yeah. what communities so are you guys in? there's many different communities within like the like madness like basically overall community itself like there's different servers like you have basically your clicks like you have GP and then you have sin you also have discord of the madness and you also have uh, killer there's yeah, like, a bunch of private ones. ones as well yeah are you guys in competition with each other like what well, to an extent <laughs> to an extent like you guys aren't that mean to each other but you guys are like ah i want to i want to do something without you like i want to do something better than this group or right I mean, like, there's a fair amount of competition but it makes movies better so you can take that out of it at the very least <laughs> right <laughs> all right so so collaboration right simbering have you ever collaborated like when it comes to art like for the madness community like when was the last time you collaborated like because honestly it seems like you're really on it like a solo project most of the time uh, when it comes to art pretty much nobody collapsed each other we're all kind of on our own the last time I remember anybody collaborating with art was like about two years ago and it was with uh oh man I can't remember what's top of her names but that's that should probably like be an indicator right there saying that yeah pretty much no artists collapse with each other and if we do it's either for an animation or for a game but never for like an art in itself. Wow. So even even if you're not collaborating, you can still become a part of the community. Like you, like reaching out. Like what, 
how is reaching out work in the madness community like for you specifically Simbrine? like do people reach out to you for like advice or like or do you reach out to other people for anything like how does that work definitely i get reached out to for um some promo art every now and then but like i know some artists can't actually do sprites so we ask sprite makers who are usually animators to like make like characters for us and stuff so it's basically just like a whole back and forth between like do we want an actual illustration or do we want our character animated? Wow. So, the, uh, all right. So how big is the Manus community? Tell me, how many, uh, just a rough estimate, how many people you guys think are in the Manus community? <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, 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 I don't have to say at least 20,000. I, I, that's a very rough estimate though. I mean, if you're counting like past and present, like people who are still active and inactive, like there's quite a lot actually. Very. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the amount of activity like varies with each month, really. Like one month, it could be absolutely crazy, and then the next month, it's a bit more quiet. So, where do people go? Like, where's the first place people go to to be like, "Hey, I want to get into madness," or like, "I want to see where do, can you find this activity?" Like you said, twenty thousand people. Where are they active at? Like, is there a forum? Is it a madness forum? And like, everyone just hangs out there. I think it's mainly Discord servers. Like, uh, I remember one of them being mainly GP. That's where most of the new people are at. Because I remember looking at GP before looking at like the test channel. And there's many new animators. You said GP. Yeah, Green Pepper. That's actually what Kells Ed's animation group is, the guy who's sleeping in the room next to me right now. Yeah, GP is a server that's mostly aimed towards animation, and now we have Sin somewhere in Nevada, not related to the album. That's another place where people have been going to that are not just animators, they're just people that are fans in general. And there's also, like you said, Killer, and then there's this Court of Madness. So it just kind of depends on the environment that you want, which depends on which uh, server you're gonna end up gravitating to. Right. There's, uh, there's also a lot of private servers, like I said before as well, which are generally occupied by like more experienced animators because they usually get invited personally to them. Have you yeah. guys ever had like trouble in the madness like community? Like, of course, obviously you get people together and like people are gonna act like dickheads or like people are gonna be mean to each other. But have you ever guys like had any like, what's like some stressful stories like from the madness community <laughs> or anything? Like, cause Spill when you're it. first getting into it, cause when you're first Spill. getting into it, you're like, oh, hi, I'm a new kid here. I just want to do the madness. I'm sure like some people are like, go the fuck home or like, or is it nice? Is it like a nice little welcome anytime someone joins? Or... Um, I don't think we should open that can of worms. Uh, <laughs> <let's> <laughs> not. There's What's a whole that? rabbit hole when it comes to that. But I will say like, it sort of depends on where you look. Like some places are really nice, others not so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it just uh, you know what could be nice to one person and is isn't to another, so it's just based on personal preference, really. Like some brain said, it depends on what pick your environment. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So sell sell you guys' community. So Jabshan and Shads and Simbarine. I'm I'm just gonna throw this out there and say that uh, Simbarine said earlier that you guys are all from like different parts of the Manus community. So like, sell me like your community right now. Like, why should someone join your specific part of the community? Or like, what do you guys do that's like kind of different? Or like like, how's it, how's it work? Is it just friends? Is that it? Like, who is it who you're friends with? I mean, uh, pretty much, honestly. It's like, there's not really much limiting you based on what server you join, except for who else is there. It's, uh, you can still do just as much as you can in any other server, regardless of which one you join. Okay, yeah. okay. So who do you normally uh, collaborate with in Zapchon? Well, recently I collaborated with my pal Always and two people like who usually animate stick figures actually, but decided to try out Madness recently, and we made a really goofy ass project for Madness Day called Mad Lads. Yeah, you guys won fifth place actually. I, yeah, I, mean, I was really happy by that. Like they're really cool people. Like I really enjoyed working with them and on the project in general. Uh, those are people I've collaborated with recently, but a lot of the time, like I'm a good example of the like the private servers end of the community because I actually run a private one. Yeah, and uh, there's there's a fair amount of people there. It's mainly just animators and people who everybody know. And oh, it's, beautiful. Yeah, it's not as active as the other servers, but whenever we do talk, it's always nice. I mean, uh, cool. Shads and Sim get around a bit more than I do now, though, so I'll let them say the rest. So with me, I, we do have a server, but like it's uh, also private. But it's also mainly just friends that talk there. Like it isn't like a big group of people. Like only like 30, 40 people. 
Yeah, and just hang out and like talk about madness then. Or like, oh, wow, that's this sounds lame. You guys hang out basically, and that's it. And then yeah. have you like madness, so you make stuff sometimes. Yeah, I like that. Um, it's really chill. I was, I was also into the question of what we collab, the people I collaborate with. I normally collaborate with um, my friends, like Simple, DJ, Salty, Sleazy. Like, uh, and sometimes like Jolly, like I, I also ATP. Like, there's many people I collaborate with. It's, it's it really does sound like a really open community. Simbering, what uh, what what community are you part of? Like, what's your section in the madness? Is it just the artists, basically, or? I actually don't talk with much of the artists. I'm usually sticking with the Green Pepper side, which is the group with Kelzad and Give Fifty and Dark Signal and Manticore. One of which is a SFM 3D modelist and artist and stuff. So I usually hang out with them and their group. So I tend to not really talk much with the artists, and that's mostly just because I don't really know how to talk to people. Um, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Nobody does. <laughs> yeah. But like um, with our group, everyone knows them more on YouTube than they do Newgrounds because of all those subs and all those views. Like GP gets in the millions. So I'm kind of affiliated with that, unfortunately. <laughs> I just said unfortunately. Nah, YouTube is good no. for revenue. We'll say that right now. Sure, we hate them because we're Newgrounds, but but no. it makes sense. It makes sense from yeah. like... Uh, People were looking for that content. You're going to be hit by the algorithm. You're just going to be able to see it back to back to back. I get that. I'm you can't mm-hmm. hate money. No, you can't hate money. That's awful. <laughs> but it's true. That's amazing. Yep. Oh. Jesus. All right. So you guys you guys all have your own little communities. I like that a lot. Uh, Man, it seems like a really open environment where everyone can like really just show up. Um, so they should join, I guess, they should join just that that uh, Discord server then. The, are you guys recommending? What, what Discord server are you guys recommending? GP then? Actually, we have a server called Somewhere in Nevada that pretty much everyone has congregated to. So, how do you find the link to that? I actually just posted it. Oh, <laughs> did you? There it is. Right, yeah, right, right under your nose. She put it. It's right here. Well, we'll link it in the episode description too. Yep. Thank you. Uh, there, there is one thing I want to mention about it. There is a captcha you have to fill in. So, unless if you're a robot, I'm sorry. <laughs> unless, sorry, robots, you can't join the madness server. Oh, it's not allowed. Yeah, <laughs> big sad, <laughs> big sad from Centris, who's a, who's a, got a robot persona. <laughs> Poor guy. That's hilarious. So, um, tell me about what, your personal projects. Then. Like, what do you guys, what do you guys see in the future for madness? Like, what is, what is this big, big idea that any of you guys are working on? Like, Sapchan, uh, what are you working on? Like, what do you want? What do you want to produce for madness? Because trying to be original in in madness is is very difficult. Well, yeah, because there's just so many movies at this point that it's hard to come up with a completely original idea. There's something I kind of like though. It's just a lot of the time people build off of other people's ideas like just to you know sort of fill in the blanks and do what they weren't able to but as for what i'm working on myself i've got a a project i've been working on basically alone since as far back as 2018 Uh, i've been really distracted by life and just online stuff in that time which is why it's taken so long but it's called madness liberation it's hopefully going to be finished by the end of this year but i don't know what's going to happen between now and then It, it making projects like that take so long and i don't even know if i can recommend making a project as long as it like anybody <laughs> else just because you'll you will hate yourself halfway through working on it but, <laughs> but you know i do recommend making projects by yourself though like occasionally just because it's a nice sort of breather from working with total people. control of the project yeah it's like uh that's about all that i'm working on at the moment though as far as i go so i'll pass it over to shads Oh, that's no thanks. No. Right, then. <laughs> the spot, thanks. Jesus. Never mind then. No. Oh. He got forcibly passed to Shads without his consent. Right, right. He doesn't want to answer this. He's like, nah, okay. a lot of I mean, blood, sweat, and tears are, are in something okay. right now. It's okay. It's all good. Um, well, Jailbreak, Fall of Helios, is, is that you, Shads? Is that your um, project? No. no, that is Jolly Bag's project, not mine. I don't know why you put me as author. I know, um, you're the author. I'm like, oh, it's, it's Shad's project, then. <laughs> no, I, I do not own that project. Like, I guess oh, I, I guess you can, like, debate. I don't I don't know, because I did help out a bit in the project, like, quite a bit. Like, Jolly can kind of vouch for me, mainly because I did, um, like, a lot of clips. I did, like, at least ten clips. Most of them were scrapped. And I did, okay. like, I just care about the collab, and I wanted to actually get finished. I see, yeah. I see, I see. Well, you got, do you got a big project in the works? I feel like in Madness, you just, you just always got something big, like, that you want to work on. Something, like, huge. Something, because there's so many different, like, perspectives and art that has come out because of Madness and all the animation techniques. And it's interesting seeing people be able to, like, put their all into something and, and make it as fantastically entertaining as possible. I mean, as of right now, the only project I have is making, like, a sequel to Felony. I'm getting more people for that, obviously. 
because I do want it to be longer in the story. They're actually going to be like a little resemblance of story, I guess. Like it's going nice. to be so minute. It's going to have the same flow as the original. I like that. Cool. Something, something kooky that everyone can join again and have a lot of fun with. Um, Simbering, what are you working on? Like, like you don't do the animations. Do you, do, you, do you always got this like big idea or is it just like really free form for you and like relax? You're like, I'll come out with Manus art when I feel like it. Or I do actually have a storyline and a whole like series I do want to do. But um, that's going to take a lot of time because I don't like doing sprite work. I like doing frame by frame. But because Ooh. of that, it's definitely not coming by anytime soon. I did try to work on a little bit of it for this Madness Day, but kind of ran out of time. And I realized I should actually just start all the way from the beginning and just make it better. So oh, that's no. what I'm going to be doing. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the problem See, with a long project is by the time you're halfway done with it, you've like grown two years since where you started. And it's like, my art doesn't even look like that anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that. Asisha's but, working on long projects because after you do them for so long, it lo the start looks completely different from like then or like now. Yeah, I've had to mm -hmm. deal with that as well. And it's annoying when I watch through the whole project. <laughs> oh <my laughs> you see gosh. the style gap. <laughs> Awful. I'm just getting by. <laughs> if, if you notice the many older projects in Venice, you can actually see very clearly in many. Like you can see the style gap get like better. Yeah, Absolutely. Like, yeah. Like a like style at least with animation changes like a lot over really short periods of time. Well, yeah, because yeah. you're learning techniques and you're getting better. Wow. Um. All right. Well, that's. That's madness for you. You get in these long fucking projects. You you got to look at through all this music that you need for your animations. You you come dealing with different communities. You got your own private communities. You got you got the wide open range of madness when you when you join into it. Like it's very open for you. You can start collaborating. That's what people enjoy doing. And then everyone always has these like big ideas that come from madness. Somewhere in Nevada is out now, which is which is an awesome album just based off of like madness. There's all this things that that come out creatively like creatively just from from the realm of madness and i i love i love all the different things you can do with it and mm. when it comes to working on those big projects i just hope you guys like don't get burnt out because like, the end product is always something so intriguing it's definitely it's definitely worth it like from what i've seen like that comes out of madness it's uh... It's insane the yeah. things that I've seen, like specifically just from Madness. So I appreciate you guys uh, coming on here and being able to talk with me a little bit about the community. I understand there's like some aspects you guys do, do want to get in, into it, but mostly it just sounds like <laughs> a really good community that you can easily just hop into and then produce whatever you really wanted from it. Yeah, like uh, you know, for anything that might be bad, we've made some pretty cool shit in this community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I like that. Uh, All right, guys, we gotta we gotta move on to our other segments for the rest of the show, and I I really do appreciate you guys coming on, and then maybe sometime I'll, I'll get the story from you guys about like why you joined Madness in the first place. It's just this time we didn't have enough time, and I'm sorry for that. Yeah, man, thanks for okay. having me. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Yeah, no, thank you for having me on though, and I actually do thank Jolly a lot for even bringing me up. <laughs> That's good. Cool, guys. <laughs> All right, so what are we moving on to? Seven Seas <laughs> yeah. writing contest. Speaking of yeah. writing, I'm sure I'm sure Madness has like these these elaborate stories that everyone has in their heads. It's just like this big like thing going on, like these ideas that you can work with, like so. Right. Well, it's just because like the animation can sometimes be simple enough that the plot is what, and the plot and the violence is what's going to lead it forward, and you get these like characters and these storylines and these side plots and it kind of is like cool to watch how it grows from just a simple 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 thing yeah absolutely and like every time the main character died in the original crinkle series and he came back like i was and he gets stabbed at the end and, and jesus is like literally just fucking slamming his face on the ground or some shit and i'm like oh my god i'm like feeling <laughs> for him i'm like i feel this pain <laughs> oh man so it's good writing. Jeez. It is good writing. That's an inspiring community, and it always feels so freaking big. I always feel like I'm looking at the smallest tip of the iceberg when I'm talking to the madness community. Like there's some, like it's just this overarching mega community of people, and some are good, and some are bad, and some are weird, and some are super just normal, just trying to get by. And yeah, I gotta dive deep into that community one day and just find find fucking everything out from it because yeah. <laughs> it's fascinating. It is really and then we never saw him again. Yeah, I'm just gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> Went into the madness community, gone. And it's like even with Newgrounds, though, you got the you got those bad moments. Like, but like you don't want to talk about them. You know what I mean? I guess I, I suppose. So if 
you know. Yeah, well, they're trying to desert, like not stir anything ones. up because they say something now. Somebody else will say something in response a week later, and then it just kind of like fires up. I understand why they don't want to start something, you know. It makes a lot of sense. As much as I was with you, I, I wanted to get the dirt too. I was like, no, just I say know. something. <laughs> I just figured I'd open the door. You know what I mean? Just be yeah. like, hey, you, you know, if you want to vent, here you go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. It's, it's dirty laundry day. Let's do the dirty laundry. <laughs> God, uh, you make me sound really devious in that aspect. <laughs> I hope, Zen, you enjoyed doing the interview because we're all about to hear you do another one. I know. How awful is that? You guys Funny. just listen if to somebody me doesn't fucking know talk. <laughs> if somebody <laughs> yeah, isn't hearing the difference between our recorded part and our live part, it's just going to be like, here's the episode where we put people out and have Zen ask them questions and then we say thank you. <laughs> but um, no, you did a good job with this. Seven Seas is awesome. She's a super active mod. Uh, you're going to hear a little bit. And this is in preparation for Halloween because we are so close to October we can smell it. October is a huge deal for Newgrounds. There's so many events going on. And I think you could consider Seven Seas kind of like one of the central figures of a lot of it because there's a lot of events that she's right in the center of making sure it's as awesome as can be every year. So, and uh, this is something we're doing, uh, going to start doing more of is having the segments for you guys because sometimes we want to talk to people that can't be on the live show right now. Sometimes it's better if we could, you know, edit it a little bit, get some music in there a little bit, and then play it for you right now. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. If it's weird, let us know. Uh, if it's fun, please let us know. And if you can't hear it in a, number, a couple of seconds, let us know in the chat and I'll fix it. <laughs> so enjoy it. This is Seven Seasons In. Well, Will, you can't mute when you're playing the audio. Yeah, game. you're not allowed to mute yourself. <laughs> also, right now, like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> this show has been brought to you by... Technical Geek difficulties. Squad. I'm yeah. sorry. Hey, I'm going to cut it all anyway. So, okay, for real now. Thank you for saying that. I'm just going to let it go the whole 10 minutes, too. I'm not we should have just let her sit there silently for 20 minutes and let the chat Got to crazy. walk away. All right, <laughs> really one more weird. time for the books. Enjoy Zen and Seven Seas. This is Seven Seas. How are you, Seven Hi, Seas? Hi, guys. Hi. I'm good. I'm very tired. I just got off work. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Let's talk for hours about Halloween now. Perfect. Yes. Well, um, I was late to our meeting for the podcast because that's what I was doing was decorating for Halloween. So I'm actually um, surrounded by Halloween stuff right now and um, decorations everywhere right now. No, I, but... I actually <laughs> I participated in last year's Halloween contest and Fro yes. actually actually ran that contest. I'm pretty sure. I yes, wasn't he sure. Did. Were you a were you were you a uh, judge for that one last year? I judged a couple of them last year and I took a break for a while. I was gone for like six months or nine months. I just needed a break and um, I won a contest before I left. Also, I think I won the Valentine's contest. But um, I love. Of Halloween. It's my most favorite holiday ever. I'm wearing a Halloween shirt right now. My coworkers are already sick of Halloween out of me. Um, <laughs> and I know, like, y'all uh, do some thoughts and prayers for Tom Fulp because I've already bothered him like five times about Halloween crap that I want to do um, right. for Newgrounds. Aside from the Halloween writing contest, like, it's just such a cool time of year. Yeah, explain that to me because I I'm not around, like, enough to have been here for, like, multiple years in a row. Like, how do, how do users get, and then I know that you're on the forums quite often because you're actually a mod. I don't know if you're still yes, a mod. You're actually I am. still a mod. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yes. And you actually are one of the more interactive people that I've seen in the forum. So how do the forums get around around this time of year too? So, well, one thing that we've done before, which I, I'm going to also harass um, people about, maybe I'll give Tom a break and harass someone else, but sometimes we have the pumpkin carving contest where we carve pumpkins and it has to have a new grounds theme or like a new grounds character. Um, and like you could carve a real pumpkin, but then there's also this flash submission that I think Pox Power did. Um, it's carve and share and you carve it, you know, it's like a, it's on new grounds, you carve it and then it shows up on your user page and people can see what you carved. And um, there's a lot of penises. Um, <laughs> now, with within the spirit of like being on the forums and all this Halloween interactivity that you got going on, uh, how do you think that's gonna play out with your your writing side that you're hosting this contest with actual cash prizes, which is fantastic? Because last year all I got was a year's worth of Newgrounds uh, supporter status yeah. when I won last year. Not not the Halloween contest, but a different writing yes. contest. 
Well, you know, like, you know, when you see Tom make his his posts about other contests that we're doing, you know, there's just there's not a whole lot of money. And, you know, that's why he's always trying to get people to to come be supporters. Everybody thinks that he's a rich billionaire diving into the, the gold coins and stuff. But um, <laughs> there's not an unlimited supply of Newgrounds money. And so, you know, we, we like to try to have the cash pots when we can. I'm footing the bill for this one. So I'm paying for all the cash prizes. And that's why maybe there weren't cash prizes on some of the other challenges. But um Tom's been generous and let us have challenges before we where we gave people supporter. But um, I am paying for these. So the cash prizes, they will come from me. Um, and that's just something that I'm doing to help support the side. I love Newgrounds so much. I've been coming to Newgrounds since I was about 13 or 14, but I think I'm a good bit older than you. So that was like late nineties. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so I, I'm, I'm closer to Tom and Wade's age. And so, you know, I remember when Newgrounds came out and um, I just have so much admiration that Tom has really stuck in there and dealt with so much crap from so many people to keep his dream going, you know? Um, yeah. So I hope he doesn't sell us to Russia. So I'm the one paying for these prizes and hopefully we'll keep having these prize pots though where people donate money and we're able to have these big contests and pay our artists and our animators and our writers. You know, we, we're such a creative community. There are so many freaking creative people on Newgrounds. There is, and with the uh, the latest animation jams that keep happening back yes. to back, I held a uh, I did an actual art contest this year that had uh, six hundred dollars of my own money that I put up as well. I and saw, yeah, I saw, yeah. So, and then now you have the writing aspect. So we got we're hitting yes. animation, and then you also had the the new grounds audio death match, and then you had uh, yes. art inspired music contest, music inspired art contest, and. With all these different communities, it's like you can you can hit base with everything, and you're you're hitting the base with writing and combining it with something that you love. So it's like it's like using new grounds. You can just you get, if you love something, you come here and you can you yes. can host a contest. You can get a collaboration. Or you can get people together to just support this one thing you love if you put enough like yes. love out yes. there into the community. And like obviously you're well known, so pe when you create something, like people are gonna understand like oh this is Seven Seas making something like. We, we should take a part in it or like we know come that take she's her serious. Money. <laughs> yeah come take come take seven seasons money she, and, i banned you one time come take my money <laughs> <laughs> perfect perfect opportunity to get back at seven seas for being a yes. mod that's awesome are you the um, only I, are you are you the only judge on this right okay so i've got um the great one who which is and he has he goes by a couple different names but he's the fellow that does the interviews you know he's the interviewer yeah um, and, and then the tank tribune i like that a lot yes too. i love the tank tribune like i know that that's so much work for him so i hope he doesn't get overwhelmed to quit if he had to i would totally understand but it's great became, the tank I tribune patron. i became a patron yes. immediately i saw it i'm like this is great i love what you're doing the sunday uh phonograph it is the is neatest best, thing best, this yes is the best thing ever i love it um there's one other judge now I'm probably going to say his name wrong. It's Drange or Drange, D-R-A-N-J. Okay. Um, and I really don't know him well, but he's won a couple contests. So um, he he's volunteered. I, yeah. So I appreciate anybody volunteering, willing to judge, you know, and, and I, I put it in the, the little entry. If you guys go by the writing forum, there's an official thread for us to talk and an official thread for entries. If you accidentally post talking in the entry thread, I'll go through and delete it later, but like no one's in trouble. I don't want people to be like, oh crap, I posted in the entry thread and she deleted it and now she's angry. It's not like that. Like I'll go through and clean it up every once in a while, but I, like, you know, it's there's no drama. So don't worry if I delete your post in that thread. Uh, are the prerequisite, prerequisites to becoming a judge, do you have to love Halloween? Is like yes. you have to answer 10 Halloween questions. You know, <laughs> I didn't, I judge. didn't make any, uh, I didn't make prerequisites requisites and it's crazy because you were originally talking about it and i got us off task it's my fault but the theme is really truly not halloween it's the apocalypse because um fro and i had talked about this back in the summer about how the world is just ending 2020 has just been so stupid every stupid thing that could happen this year has happened and um i had harassed tom poor tom and i had said do you think if we do a, a spooktacular for halloween could we maybe have like a not pandemic theme but like a just you know like apocalypse end of the world you know dumpster fire kind of of theme because it's everything going wrong that could go wrong is going wrong um and he said we weren't gonna have a, an official theme for it because we just do the new grounds you know the spectacular we just october is just a big deal but we don't have an official theme so fro and i decided for the writing contest 
we could do that. And Fro might write for this one. He said he had an idea for um, a good, you know, apocalyptic. And, and people have been asking me, does it have to be after the apocalypse or can it be leading up to the apocalypse? And it's anything that's end of the world related. Well, is fine for the writing contest. Perfect. And we'll, Which... uh, we'll read it. And so even if I've banned you, 50 times you should still enter because i'm 100 percent legit and fair no play of favorites or any of that you know i've i've judged a couple things and there's been people that i've i've really liked that they they didn't win so i i will definitely play fair i want Absolutely. everyone that writes to enter yeah that's the most important thing if anyone's listening to this if you host a contest you have to learn how to be unbiased because it's yeah. not it's not about you it's about the creativity it's about the content that was made and yes. you want to make everyone feel like they had a fair shot that way they participate in the future you never want that's to that's right never want to destroy someone's someone's potential because you made them feel bad about them as a person but they make that's good right. stuff like you will find yes. out a lot of your idols a lot of the people you look up to they could be the shittiest people but they still put yes. out good content <laughs> and, and it's the worst yes. but you gotta live with that uh, i appreciate the writing contest i was actually writing something for it i have a really good idea that i just i'm gonna i'm gonna type up and uh uh, it's I'm these type excited. of contests that, that the creativity just reaches its maximum because it's fun to just make something for, for, for a little contest and see how you match up with everyone else. And it's cool. It's a, it's a good time for community. It's really fun. Um, Before you go, though, to, uh, top 10 horror movies to watch on Halloween. Go. OK, so I'm, it's not going to be the answer that you want because I'm such a freaking nerd <laughs> that like I don't like the scary stuff. So like I like Rocky Horror Picture Show. I watch that every year. Nightmare Before Christmas. I watch that every year. Adam's Family. Like I just that's the kind of stuff I like. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So anything I don't do. I don't do area. like the. Yeah, well, I try to watch things like Saw and like, um, you know, the the real gory ones. Yeah. But I can't I can't get into it because the special effects. I'm like, that's not real. That's not real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, so so like, you become a scientist you're like that wouldn't happen that's not real life that's you know? not me. so i like the really cheesy stuff and you know like uh, i don't know if you've ever watched mystery science theater 3000 like i, I love old cheesy crap that's brilliant <laughs> okay. i like that that's such a wonderful name to get into i'm i'm yes. actually proud of you right now that's awesome i like hearing that I like that Good. Uh, that's, that can be our last plug. If you guys don't watch Mystery Science Theater 3000, go watch that. It's really good. <laughs> Brilliant. And I can vouch for that. It's super good. Yes. Thank you, 7 C, so much for everything you've done. And uh, I hope to see you around. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. There is a longer version of that, by the way. We're going to post it right after this is over. And it's much more in-depth of Seven Seas. She talks not just about Halloween, but about some other contest events in the forum and about the hurricane she was just part of. If you guys aren't aware, Seven Seas was in Louisiana during the big hurricane. So it's good to hear some first, first, uh, what is it? First-hand source stuff from that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hurricane Laura that de fucking demolished houses out there. But Seven Seas was lucky enough to only lose power for like nine days. And like all the kids she teaches ended up being okay as well. That's so good. It's nuts. She got hit by Laura, and that was that was not long ago at all. And now they've run out of letters for names already. Like, that's yeah, like they're on Greek name. alphabets now. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's fucking nuts, man. Not cool. Uh, speaking of stormy weathers and fucking things up and shit, like, let's talk about Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> the worst discussion. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we mentioned at the beginning of the show that we did have some big news as it pertains to this game. Um, it's not set in stone yet date wise, but we are going to be interviewing inner sloth, hopefully all three of them, uh, talking about the game. Uh, the interview will take place after the among us animation jam. So we will definitely be talking about that with them, which is why we didn't want to talk too much about it today, but you guys should definitely be checking out some of those cartoons. There are some really funny little skits. There's still plenty of time to get in on it. If you want to animate. I mean, it's it's a very simple art for art form. It's right up there with fucking stick. Fig Might even be easier than stick figures because you don't really have to move <laughs> any body parts, you know. Um, so, and if you have an idea for a cute little short that has to do with Among Us, the theme is the purple imposter. If you haven't already read the news posts and all that, but it's it's definitely a great animation jam for even the most novice people because it it really is not a hard form of art to animate and all you gotta do is have just a little bit of humor or some story in your head or just some personal experience with the game that you kind of think is quirky and you want to translate to a cartoon and you can you whip it off and get in there and 
maybe we'll talk about your animation when we interview the actual creators of the game. So that could be really cool. So yeah, yeah, get involved. It's worth yeah, it to yeah, animate yeah. Among Us stuff, even if you want to go all in, if you want to be like Cimbarine and be frame by frame on it. It's still just these little jelly bean people with visors, as far as I can tell. So it shouldn't be that hard, right? Yeah, right. yep. I'm actually I'm actually <laughs> working on an animation myself, and like if you know me, I don't animate very often. It's a very Dang. rare thing, and I'm like, this is easy. I'm gonna do it, and. Uh, We'll see if I meet the deadline or not, but uh, I'm trying. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Zen, you should make something. Yeah, Zen, you yeah, should I make something. about it because of all the, my stress and feelings and like emotional feelings I get from playing Among Us with you assholes. Like I want to be able to put that <laughs> in animation form, and I could do it easily now. And speaking of speaking of the uh, the the way you can animate through Among Us, like how simple it is, that really is genius about it. And when the contest was announced, there's already like like three animations that ended up in the dailies within the first two days. And people are like, how are you doing this already? It's because it's, yep. it's simple. And what's really cool, um, I'm just going to toot my own horn here. Uh, the um, collection for the page that you can link to from the news post or whatever, you can just click on the icon for the very first movie. It'll have a little text pops up says play all. And you can just watch every animation in the jam and it'll just play them one after the other. I did that the other day and there's like a good 20 minutes of stuff in there. It was great. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's it's not like old school where you got to go like every single page and watch every movie anymore. You can just go to the list, watch them all back to back and turn it into a big Among Us movie. It's fucking great. And Good for and you. I did that, guys. I did You did that. do that. It yeah, goes to uh, show that if it's something Cycle Goldfish is interested in, it's going to get updated like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Just make sure it caters to his interest specifically. Jesus. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That oh my brilliant. god, Josh! Is there anybody in the uh, chat right now that you guys have been playing with? Yeah, Hell actually, yeah. yeah. Zin, Zin kind of reminded me when he said all the assholes we play with. So let's get a few of the assholes in here. Uh, I really want to get, in particular, let's get Mister Snuggles in here and his arch rival Octo. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> these, Octo these two. is not my arch rival. It's Cam. And then we'll get Snail Pirate in here. And let's see, uh, we'll get Jacob, and that should be a pretty good crew here. Um, <laughs> so basically, for uh, those listening at home, uh, we have added some Among Us gaming rooms in our Discord, and we've pretty much had a game going, god damn near every evening since we did it, I think. Yeah. It's been yeah. pretty much one perpetual game. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of betrayal. We, we, yeah, we've learned a lot about each other. In, in this in this time, I've heard that way. Never to trust. It's got on the worst of all of us. I used to like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I still like you, Jacob. Oh, I've, learned, <laughs> I've learned a little too much about every single one. Uh, you know, who's the worst I, I liar? Trust you. The worst Me. liar. Um, I don't know. Um, Dude, that's Cam. No, Cam's, Cam's pretty good. Cam's, a pretty Cam's damn pretty good. Player. We've got some stone cold mo- <laughs> stone cold Zin, uh, Zin is really good at lying. Honestly, yeah. Brandy is yeah. pretty well, good at Zin lying. Zin plays it so friggin' sly. Like you guys are terrifyingly good at deceiving me. I know. It makes us think about real life or situations like, ah, right. <laughs> like if we hang out in real I life, can't. I'm sussing you. <laughs> <laughs> this game kind of just brings out like who we now know as psychopaths. We can't trust you. <laughs> <in this laughs> yeah, I hate like this if- game because I want to make friends when I play games, not lose them. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, though, Mr. Snuggles... In the last couple games we played, he would single me out and kill me first because he caught on that yeah. I like to just leave the group and do do the tasks <laughs> right away. And but but whenever I get my tasks done, I'm like stone cold Batman detective. I have never <laughs> lost a game. I've never <laughs> lost a game when I get my tasks done. So I totally respect the fact that he kills me as soon as he can. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! That's the next actual. Brain. The next in-person Newgrounds meetup is going to be so freaking tense because everybody's just going to be watching their back the whole time at the bar. Like, don't come near me, man. <laughs> I see that dude's you. a fucking liar. That dude's a fucking liar. Don't talk to him. <laughs> yeah, we'll all be having our jokes. We'll open up one of the doors, see Mr. Snuggles dead on the ground and be like, huh. <laughs> oh my God. Knew no, it. I, I won't be dead on the ground. I'll be floating because you guys all kill me off. Yeah, but then it turns out we'll have this whole fucking blame game where we blame everybody who killed Mr. Snow, and it turns out he just passed out because he drank too much. <laughs> people, Snuggles no, is going to be a ghost in the bar trying say, to drink. People just say Mr. Snuggles did it, and people vote me off with no 
evidence. And it's, it's hilarious. They, every single they, ne- time. they never do Wait, it when every you're in the same time. room as the dead body. That's not no evidence. You're just a fool. Dude, I was watering plants. What do you mean? No. Mr. Snuggles, you never get voted <laughs> off when you're actually the fucking imposter, though. So because we kind of have this unofficial rule. If Mr. Snuggles survives two rounds, he's the fucking imposter. Dude, I'm good at being the imposter. What can I say? I'm an alien. If anyone accuses <laughs> him, true. he always just starts screaming at us if he's innocent. <laughs> so if we accuse him and he actually is the imposter, he's slightly more quiet. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're like, oh, he's he's not so upset. He's okay. <laughs> yeah, you notice a little like you notice little mannerisms everyone like has as you play this game. You are like, hmm, I know yeah. that this person is the imposter if they talk a little quieter or if they don't speak yeah. up this much. Even Dude, in the Cam, game, there's Cam patterns. doesn't say anything if he's yeah. Cam, Cam gets very quiet anything, when he's the but imposter. But if he's not, oh my god, he'll speak first every time. I caught on. It's fucking snail pirate will fucking. <laughs> Oh boy. No, he's he's pretty predictable at times, but the worst <laughs> one was the worst one that I caught on is he's a genius and I just happened to catch his play and it's fucking Brandy Boozil. He will go to the fucking cameras no matter what position he plays, and he'll hang out at the cameras all day. So everybody knows everybody knows Brandy is the camera guy. So when he's the imposter, oh, what he does, he sits at yeah. the camera and he watches the, the whatever task is like the closest to the camera and he watches that and if somebody's there by themselves he goes out kills them and then he runs to the button and says i saw it on the camera guys <laughs> <And I> thought, <laughs> he's yeah, a fucking mad smart. genius yeah but well, i caught like, on to that <laughs> that's the cool thing about playing with a group of friends it's that you all build up habits and yep, yep. you need to like evolve the way you yes. play if you want it, to it not forces you to adapt that's for sure yeah that's pretty cool actually <laughs> i like i lay awake up at night just like thinking about all the people that betrayed me. Yeah, last night I was thinking, I was a man, I'm a really bad human being. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> no joke, I think I actually had a dream last night about a month. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was like, let's go back to Jackbox, please. Has, has anybody not gone to bed shortly after playing this and not had like some dream about it? Like, it's got me so many times. I have had just like, like I spent like an entire hour just feeling bad. Because I like <laughs> I was around. I was the imposter, and we, you know we were like uh, I built his trust, and we did all the same tasks together, and had so many opportunities, but didn't take it. And then talking uh, about with me, right? I, yeah, I guess I'm a twisted person. I <laughs> never feel any remorse after playing. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> Jesus Christ! It's gonna be funny. Like right right now, we're we're in COVID and shit, and we've got all and everybody's playing this game. So there's gonna be some like therapists that have a lot of weird sessions coming up. All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, before we sign off for the night, I do want to, or for the show of the night, I'm so used to playing Among Us. We're signing off for the night, guys. Yeah. Before, nice. before we sign off on the show, I actually sent a private message to one of you and said that you are, quote, unquote, the imposter. So let's discuss who the imposter is right now and try and get them. Let's go. I think okay. it's Mr. Okay. Snuggles. I think it's Snuggles. I think it's Snuggles. Snuggles. No. For, for it's it's Mr. Snuggles because Mr. Snuggles. 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 No, Mr. Snuggles pressed the button prematurely. Jacob's being too quiet. <laughs> Jacob's too quiet. Jacob. Oh, shit. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. Oh, they got Mr. Snuggles. They got Mr. Snuggles. Oh, my God. They killed Jacob. Oh, my God. Oh, it was me the whole time.